It's the most wonderful time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone. Glenn Beck, America's foremost authority on Christ's love of semi-automatic weapons, has written a new holiday classic entitled The Christmas Sweater. And it's appropriate that Glenn Beck put his name on something that makes every child cry. Let's take a look at what's inside, shall we? Hmm. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I did not know that. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Eddie whose father died of cancer. Now would be a good time to mention the Christmas sweater is also available as a children's picture book. Yikes. Can't wait until Random House releases Glenn Beck Presents How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. AIDS. But the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. Smallpox. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. Secret Muslim. Really, Glenn Beck? Name me one other Christmas special that has a secret Muslim. Let's just move on. Eddie's mother did not have a lot of money, because due to his father's fatal illness, she contributed it all to the greatest health care system in the world. Eddie was thankful that because of his dead father, the CEO of Blue Cross was finally able to afford a new jet ski, 12 kilos of cocaine, and a Taiwanese mail-order bride. And it turned out to be the best Christmas ever. The end. Wait, there's more of this shit? Christ. This Christmas, Eddie wanted what every 12-year-old boy wants more than anything else in the world. A new bicycle. Unfortunately, Eddie's mother could not afford a new bike, so she got him the next best thing. A Christmas sweater. So Glenn Beck wants to use this story to teach us to live according to his principles of thrift, humility, and gratitude. I'm sure Eddie will take this disappointment well. If you want to destroy my sweater. Or not. Okay, then it must be a story about how Eddie realizes that material possessions mean nothing when compared to the gift of a mother's love. It's a basic, heartwarming Christmas story. It brings families closer together. Let's see how Glenn Beck illustrates this. That Christmas evening, Eddie's mother took the wheel and died a gruesome death when she was hit by an oncoming semi. Thanks a lot, Obama death panels. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I'm sorry, was this the expression you were looking for? So then Eddie decides that he... Hey, where'd you go? Hey, don't you want to know what happens next? No, go away! But Glenn Beck's got a big surprise for Eddie. Okay, what does Eddie decide to do next? He stops believing in God. Holy shit! Now that doesn't show a lot of Christmas spirit. Yeah, you know what goes great in a Christmas special? Militant atheism. Well, since you asked... I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Where has God gone, he cried. I shall tell you. We have killed him, you and I. We are his murderers. Merry Christmas, Friedrich Nietzsche. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn. Hey, don't you want to hear how Eddie saves Christmas? Okay, fine. What does he do next? He runs through a tornado. What? Did I stutter? He runs through a tornado. And then... It was all a dream. The end. Piss off. What? This story eats reindeer balls. Let's try a classic ending instead. Tired of living a hollow lie, Glenn Beck decided to end it all by jumping off a bridge into the icy river below. But then, Beck's guardian angel intervened and showed him how different the world would be if he were never born. But then Glenn Beck remembered, you know who else tried to kill himself? Hitler. The end.